On the last episode of Feed Your Brain, we talked about Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. On this episode, we will talk about Venus, the second planet from the sun. So let's get right into it. Venus is the second planet from the sun, and it's actually the hottest planet in the solar system, with an average temperature of 462 degrees Celsius. This is so hot that it can melt lead. Yeah, that type of lead. This is because Venus has what's known as a greenhouse effect, which means that it traps and absorbs heat from the sun, but doesn't let it escape. Venus has a very thick atmosphere. It consists of 96% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas that absorbs heat from the sun and well it absorbs heat. It's a greenhouse gas. And this is why Venus is so hot. While Mercury on the other hand, which is closer to the sun, doesn't even have an atmosphere. Venus is often called Earth's twin because it has similarities in size and composition. They're both rocky planets and they both have almost exactly the same radius. Venus is also called the morning star. This is because Venus is so bright that you can see it in the mornings and on rare occasions in broad daylight with the naked eye. Along with Mercury, Venus is actually moonless and Mercury, which we've already talked about in a previous episode, and Venus are actually the only two planets in the solar system that are moonless. The first robotic space probe, Soviet Venera, began in 1961. As you can imagine, most of the spacecraft sent to Venus, they... In September of 2020, a team of astronomers announced the detection of phosphine, a gas that is not known to Venus's atmosphere or surface. This might be evidence that life exists on Venus. You know, organisms. And they're probably microorganisms, not, you know, aliens. Italian physicist Galileo Galilei observed in the 17th century that Venus has faces a lot like the moon. This proved our solar system revolves around something else which later turned out to be the sun and not Earth. Since Venus is so bright and visible to the naked eye, it has been a key point of interest to humans for as long as history records have existed. The name Venus comes from the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Keep in mind that at this point, there were only five known existing planets to humans. And as such, astronomers probably named Venus because it was so bright and, well, beautiful after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. So that's it, guys. I hope you found my video brief, educational, and also a little bit fun. If you did, then like this video. And if you like my channel, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss whenever I upload a new video. My name is Nick, and my goal is to feed your brain. Shout out to Dora Pichi for making this cup I'm drinking from in this moment. <laughs>